Welcome to HTV News. Today is Wednesday, May 11th. I'm Gabe. And I'm Griffin. And here's what's happening at HHS. More new scholarships are available and guidance, so check them out today. Some have application deadlines approaching soon. All students, the lost and found piles have been moved to a storage closet, so if you're missing an item, you must contact a custodian to unlock the closet for you so you can look for your stuff. Attention class of 2017, there will be a special program offered this summer for juniors who are motivated to get their college applications submitted before school year starts next year. Students will get hands-on help with every aspect of the application process from researching colleges to actually submitting your finished application. There is no fee to participate, but students who sign up must commit to all three sessions. Dates are June 13th, August 11th, and August 12th. Stop by guidance to see Ms. Adams or Ms. Torres. Don't miss out on this great opportunity. Students, there is still time to get help with math and English. HHS offers after-school tutoring on Mondays and Wednesdays until 4 p.m., so stop by the Media Center for details. Power through the last weeks of the school year and get your grades up by signing up for tutoring. Bus service is available if you sign up in advance. Students, the Hobart High School Art Show is coming up. If you are interested in putting anything in the art show this year, must be to Ms. Buhite in the art room by Thursday, May 12th. Items must have been created this school year. Please include your name and grade level on each work. All juniors, this is a reminder that you need to get your meningitis vaccine before next school year. All seniors in the state of Indiana are required by law to receive this vaccine. You can go to your family physician, health department, CVS, Walgreens, or the Bricky Clinic located at HHS. Now over to Lillian Keenan for more announcements. Students, in order to avoid being charged a cleaning fee, please remove all stickers and graffiti from your Chromebook before you turn it in. Chromebooks and chargers will be collected before school gets out. The Heart That Smiles Mobile Dentist will be at school on Friday, May 13th. They will provide free dental care, cleaning, exams, and fluoride. Forms are in student services. Return the completed forms to the nurse. The senior class sponsors would like to let the seniors know that anyone is able to write and submit a speech for graduation. Speeches must be turned into Ms. Nelson or Ms. Roach by Friday, May 13, so that the very best speeches can be determined. HHS will offer summer school for those who need or wish to take classes. Sessions will take place June 6th to the 24th and June 27th through July 18th. Cost is $30 per session. Please check with guidance for a complete list of available courses. Deadline to sign up is Friday, May 13th. We'll be back with Griffin and Gabe after these announcements. Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes of your favorite movies, television shows, or news broadcasts? Well, here at Hobart High School, we're going to find out. Hi, I'm Greg Crouch, and I'm going to be teaching the Radio and TV program next year at Hobart High School. And in Radio and TV 1, what we're going to do is learn the basics of news gathering, how to use a camera, how to be in front of the camera, how to use a teleprompter, a soundboard, and a switcher, and become a technical director. Students will be able to rotate through all the jobs that it takes to make a live broadcast. In Radio and TV 2, we're going to expand on those concepts, learn more cinematography, we're going to learn different camera angles, shooting styles, we're going to learn how to light your scene, how to light a green screen, how to composite a green screen, how to add special effects and motion graphics. You'll be able to go out and produce your own short films and many more projects in that class. So if you ever wanted to be a newscaster, cameraman, director of photography, or a special effects artist, come see me and take Radio and TV 1 and Radio and TV 2. All students with medication in the nurse's office need to pick up their medication by the end of the school year. All medication left in the office will be disposed of on June 3rd. Students, NHS is hosting a team up for St. Jude Dodgeball Tournament on Friday, May 20th from 7 to 10 p.m. Are you interested in a career of business or banking? If you are a current sophomore or junior and would like to build your resume, we have an opportunity for you. 
The Bricky Credit Union is looking for lunch assistance for the 2016-2017 school year. It is a great experience and wonderful networking opportunity. If you are interested, please see Ms. Brumley. She will be glad to explain and any details or questions you may have. To seniors, in the 12th grade CCRT Google Classroom, Ms. Torres has posted a survey in regards to the Seniors Honors Convocation for 2016. Please direct all seniors to that page and encourage them to complete the questions. And that wraps it up for today's announcements. I'm Gabe. And I'm Griffin. Have a great, great day, day, HHS. HHS.